We present a technique for adaptive merging and rigid body simulations. In a multi-body system with contacts, determining where the contacts occur and the forces they produce are the two most computationally expensive steps. We reduce these costs by merging bodies when they have the same velocity and unmerging them when they need to move independently. While sleeping in the inertial frame is common in physics engines, sleeping alone misses an important opportunity, allowing bodies to sleep relative to one another even when they are moving in the inertial frame. We call these merged bodies collections. We merge and unmerge based on a relative motion metric and the state of contacts. We bound the fastest point of relative motion using oriented bounding boxes and merge if it is below a threshold. This avoids unwanted merging when a long object has slow yet important motion. The main challenge for sleeping and merging techniques, however, is the design of a reactivation strategy that ensures plausible motion. When bodies merge, we keep the contact force information and approximately update these forces with a single sweep of PGS at each time step. These approximate forces and corresponding velocity updates let us decide when to unmerge. These collapsing towers show merging in unstructured piles. Traditional sleeping further optimizes our merging approach as no PGS sweep is needed for bodies that are at rest in the inertial frame. We show sleeping bodies in light gray. In this comparison to ground truth without merging, notice how this collection on the right unmerges into two collections at the correct sliding interface. Bodies unmerge and are able to move at just the right time because we identify unmerging events before the full LCP computation at each time step. In this long chain of colliding dominoes, notice how the timing closely matches the ground truth. While the single PGS sweep has poor accuracy, for impacts we use a simultaneous breadth-first contact ordering. This gives a good opportunity for the approximate response of impulses to be propagated through the collection. Note that the inaccuracies of a single PGS sweep typically provide conservative unmerging, meaning that more bodies unmerge than necessary. Merging depends on set thresholds and the accuracy of the full LCP solve. Our merging technique works well using 10 iterations of PGS with warm starts for full LCP solves, but increasing the accuracy with more iterations allows collections to form and reform more quickly in this tower destruction scenario. For meshes, we use a medial sphere shape approximation and BVH collision detection. Here we see a visualization of the deepest sphere tree nodes visited at the current time step. We extend our BVH collision detection to also work with collections by updating the sphere tree in an incremental manner whenever a body is added or removed from the collection. We rebalance the BVH on the fly so as to maintain efficiency in longer simulations. This provides a valuable speed up for large scale simulations. In this example, adaptive merging reduces the computation by an order of magnitude thanks to a greatly reduced number of bodies and contacts. In scenarios with fast angular motion, we use post step stabilization. This is because Baumgart stabilization leads to velocities that violate the relative motion metric. This last example shows a training scenario for a port crane operator. In this simulation, trains, trucks, and ships are merged with their cargo. Adaptive merging keeps the scene complexity low as the operator sorts containers. Please see our paper or our reference implementation for more information.